let's quickly get predictions um, for West Ham Arsenal. 2-1 West Ham, 3-0 in the grand scheme of things in the trilogy of the Declan Derby. We do it again, third time in a row. Like I said, you may you may get your little win back, but it's a consolation at this point because we've already beaten you twice this season. But I think we do it. Just say that again. What? I'm saying, <laughs> oh, go on, Sam. Go on, Sam. Get your little clips out. Come on, clip me. I think Kudus has a higher ceiling than Saka. I think Saka's got the track record. I'm serious. And he will go further. I'm telling you. Give it a few years. I'm telling you, Kudus will overtake Saka. Guy Saka steps up. Yes! To yes! Saka! Jesus. Mass exodus. I don't they're get this. Going. This is brilliant. Oh, oh, oh. I've had enough. Yes. I've seen enough. This <clears throat> has been a wonderful day already. Right, you've got to eat that. Oh, oh two of you. Oh, two of you. Oh, oh, yes. Declan Rice better thank his lucky stars that Saeed Ben Rama missed that penalty because boy, that would have looked very bad on his head. I'm telling you that now. Disaster class. Um, one player we haven't mentioned yet, Declan Rice. He's Agent not- Declan. Agent Declan. Call him, <laughs> call him by his full title. He's been playing sh- against us on purpose because he still loves West Ham and he can't bring himself to put in a good performance against us. Agent Declan. Really, we're I, I, still I- in his head. For me, this is a result that's been coming. It's disgusting what I've seen today, mate. The way I look at it is them players today, whatever the manager's told you to do when he's free now, do your own thing. Take it. Some pride in your own performance. Bowen's put in a situation where the guy's like my height and he's playing as a target man, having long balls lumped up to him. What are we doing? I'm forever seeing white seats, white seats in the stands. Why are they white? Because West Ham are shite, their fans leave out of time. I'm forever seeing white seats, empty white seats in the stands. I'm forever seeing white seats, white seats in the stand. Hold that. <laughs> Who wears oh sunglasses God. indoors, by the way? Who does that? You do on stream, you twat. <laughs> you do. Most of the time that you seem to think that oh, West Ham are going to win, Sank. My God, is this going to be fun. My God, is this going to be fun. Every single one of us tonight, and a special guest who's coming in a few minutes, is totally destroying you tonight. I don't care whether it's Dan United, I don't care whether it's Pete, Errol, Maz, or our special guest, Tapping Tobes, and myself. Tobes is on the blower to me. Get me on pots. Get me on tonight. So, of course, he's always welcome, particularly when West Ham get totally eaten up and destroyed. I don't expect an apology from you. I don't expect anything from Dan Lawless. Kudus, higher seeding than Saka. Front three, better than Arsenal's. Apparently, without Paqueta, they're no good. But David Moyes, it's all on him. It's all about get David Moyes out again. Whereas a couple of weeks ago, well, we're going to win the Europa League. It's fine. It's no worries. We're good in Europe. Mate, you play like that in Europe, Javi Alonso and Liverpool are going to absolutely tear you apart. You, sir, nobody here feels sorry for you. 
nobody here feels sorry for you anymore. You're going to sit and listen to every single one of these panelists cook your god awful team. That, by the way, is the most embarrassing team that I've ever seen in Arsenal history play against. That was a shambles. I've seen some poor sides. That was an absolute crumbling. And it was at your ground. And it was at your ground. You can give it to me 2-1. We beat you 2-1 on the score. I don't care. We beat you by six, brother. Six. And it could have been 12, by the way. Yeah? If we'd have actually tried after the fourth, fifth goal that went in to actually go and say, do you know what? Let's keep going. Arteta felt pity on you. Let's bring on the 16-year-old. Let's give him one area go. Let's take some of these players off. Let's no go for eight, nine or ten. Let's bring Cedric on. Let's bring El Nenny on. Let's bring Ranieri on. Let's have a laugh because they don't care. They're not serious, this team. This is a team that apparently, I was told, it is a disgrace to say it would come 10th. And now you're slipping down the table. Brighton are looking at you, licking their lips. Dan United. Dan United is looking at you, thinking, oh, my God. Man United. Man United. They might even outjump West Ham. Pete, who, by the way, if he finishes above you, you are totally done and dusted. Yeah. So if Newcastle finish above West Ham, oh my God, this is going to be hilarious. So hold that. Your fan base can hold that. Absolute <laughs> disgrace to be an, an embarrassing, <laughs> embarrassing disgrace against Declan Rice, who, by the way, is one of the classiest professionals in the league for how he reacted and how he actually went and clapped the four fans that were left in the ground at the end that gave him some respect. Mate, it was beautiful. I am so, so happy that these weekends worked out the way it did. Because Saturday, for me, wasn't great. I looked at Liverpool. I looked at Man City. I'm thinking, oh, no, Spurs, last minute goal. They won't go away at the moment. And I thought, you know what? If I had to pick a team to beat Villa, it would be United. So that then, they obviously, they keep away from as well. And then we go and have you 6-0. Oh, it's beautiful. Ah, Let's let Lawless go last. Dan United, you're not very well today, brother. But thank you so much for coming on, my friend. I couldn't miss it. I, I, I one million percent couldn't miss it. Uh, I, I literally have waited the entire season for this. But you know something? This channel is about about friendships, and so I'm going to let my good friend, Liverpool fan Errol, take the stage because Errol, you're a good friend, and I think I, I think that's what we're all about on this panel is friends. So Errol, floor is yours first, my man. Well, I appreciate the gesture. Thank you very much. Lawless man, it, it's been a long time coming, but as we sit here tonight on what is what, the 12th of February, West Ham have not won a game all year. We're two months deep. You've not won a game all year. You've been knocked out of the, the last cup competition that you was in by a, a lower league opposition. You've lost to Man U. You've been absolutely dominated by Arsenal. And here you are now. The question that I have, and the question that we all really want to know, is is Moyes got to stay or is it time for Moyes to go, Lawless? Because from where I'm standing right now, your season is hanging by a thread, an absolute thread. And the only real thread that you've got left for this season is the Europa League. And when you look at the, the competition that you will face or could come up against in that Europa League, Brighton still holding, holding, holding up in there. You've got Bayer Leverkusen unbeaten. In the Bundesliga, absolutely wiping the floor with, with you know Bayern Munich on big boys. You know they used to dunk on 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 big opposition in the Champions League for fun. You can't even be by by a Leverkusen at the minute. And then you've got Liverpool. I really need to spot. You know my CV speaks for itself. Do you get me? Like we've got that pedigree. You on the other hand was digging yourself up. You was making out as if this was the season where you really announced yourself. It was only not even a full week ago, in the group chat, you announced yourself as one of the top six clubs in in, in the UK for, for Europe. The, 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 the league and the coefficients, you announced yourself as the top six side. And on your on your announce, on like being enunciated into that category, you, you hold six. Not like a three or a four, like you hold six. Like when I hold six, because I've won six Champions Leagues, Get me, the six is the eye beholden. You say you just held six to an Arsenal team in your own backyard. Do you feel no shame? 
Declan Rice little bro you. He was like, you was, you was the ex, and with the next. How does it feel, Lawless? Because we've been telling you, and like we say it now in this, we can be very jovial. We can be, we can, we can take the piss and we can banter as much as we want. But like Christian says there, the streets don't forget. We've been here all season. We've been trying to tell you in the nicest way. We've been trying to give you stats. We've been trying to break it down for you so you can understand the logic behind some of our rationale. And you still find it within yourself to come with this chest to make out that West Ham are, are, are worthy of being held in the same breath as clubs that you sit amongst right now. Like, I, I'll be sorry. I, you know, do you know what? I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, bro, because the last, the last 18 months, it's been fun. But if Moyes goes, you might have to go as well, my friend. And I'm sorry. I might have only seen you on streams once in a blue moon from here on out. But truth be told, is Moyes in or is Moyes out, Lawless? That's all I need to know. Because the rest, the, we've already been telling you the rest. So we've knew for a long time. I just want to know if you're up to speed now. That's where I sit with all of this. I'll be honest. Let me, uh, <clears throat> let me hold you there, Lawless. Let me bring in uh, a good friend of the show. Uh, someone who was on here every week last season, cooking you. Uh, he's asked to come back on tonight, man. Uh, so I'm going to bring him in. Tobes, what are you saying, bro? Can you just ask him I'm why great. he's not on? Is it Why is he not on Race for Europe? Why don't we cover Spurs? Just ask him that as well. I'm not going to say that. Um, Tell him why we don't I'm cover great, Spurs bro. on this show. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can, listen, you can throw out all the, all the little jabs and whatever as you want. But the fact of the matter is your team got sliced, diced, bland, cooked, Butchered, you got destroyed yesterday. So you just need to put a hoodie over that bald head of yours and just sit down and, and face the face the music, bro. Because you've you've had a lot to say about every single team. You have you always have more than most people. Like you have so much to say about like lots and lots of teams, and you and that little shit that you had on West Ham TV and the re and the rest of your the rest of your fan base. Like you you love to to, to rub it in. When it suits you, you love to rub it in, digging out other teams, especially Spurs, etc., etc. Yeah, show the Afcon. You're not even African. You're not even African. <laughs> you're, not even. you're not even African, bro. Like you're a disgrace. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, you know what's hilarious? This guy is a fucking disgrace. And you know what's magic? Like he's claiming Ivory Coast's win. You have no player that comes from Ivory Coast. Yeah, Hello, you have no Hello, Hello, yeah. Hello, 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 Yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's absolutely crazy. And I just want to hop yeah, back to that. Yeah, you've got earlier on the season. I just want to hop back to earlier on the season because I watched I watched West Ham fan TV. I watched all 20... Yeah, Corne. Like Corne. Corne is from Ivory Coast. Sorry. Just to... Yeah, Corne. I think it was 20... Uh, West Ham online. Corne. Okay, but Corne is not in the team right now, is he? Okay, but he's he's from. He wasn't in the team. Sorry, so he, I'm not even sure if he got a medal. But keep trying to sidetrack me. It's not going to work. Yeah, you said Zuma gets into combined 11s. You spoke. You gassed up uh, flipping Suchek many many years back. There's so many guys Aguered telling us he's better than X Y Z. Um, Alvarez. The, the other day, a couple a week ago, you were telling us how Calvin Phillips was a complete game changer. Oh, you're seriously. Underrating Calvin Phillips, amazing player. This, this, that, and the third. I'm like, hang on a second. Not the great West Ham with all these elite players, with all these players that beats up everyone's combined 11s, and yet they're getting whooped 6 0 at home. At home, bro. And you actually sat there and was like, oh, I'm staying for the full match as if that's anything to be proud of. Your team got fucking smoked. I couldn't give two shits if you stayed the whole. 90 minutes or, or 46 minutes, your team got cooked. You, you're terrible. You're absolutely terrible. And you had your fans had the audacity to boo Declan Rice. This guy brought you in 105 million and you had the audacity to boo him. Before he joined Arsenal, you were telling us, Captain Fantastic, he's world class, he's this, he's that. Now he plays for Arsenal, he's the worst player ever. Booing him. I saw your fans booing him in the game. They should have been booing your team before half time instead of Declan Rice. I, I, I'm not even gonna lie. I hate Arsenal, but I'd be lying if I wasn't smiling so gladly when he crashed that ball into the back of the net. When he smashed that ball in and it went six 0 I was like, "Yes, give it to him, give it to him, man." I hate your fan base, and you are a living embodiment of your disgraceful fan base. 
You talk and talk and talk. You try to put me down as a Spurs fan. You talk and talk and talk as if West Ham are anything to, to go by. You're not the standard bearers. You're not the standard bearers. And you scum back the couple wins. You scum back the win at the Emirates. You scum back the win at our ground. And you thought, okay, cool, Lightning's going to strike twice. No, that's what they should have done to you at the Emirates. The only difference there was they didn't put away their chances and you jammed me a couple of goals as per. As per. So have that, yeah? Hold that. That's all I wanted to say. Big up, man. Let's I'll bring Maz and Pete in and then Lawless can have the mic. Uh, Pete, let's come to you, bro. Lawless has given you a lot of stick on this show, man. I've got to say, Newcastle this, Newcastle that. Did it, uh, Don't make let him you divide smile us, when Pete. He saw... Don't let him divide us. Don't let him do that. <laughs> oh, you've already done that yourself, my bro. You've already done that yourself, my bro. Uh, Pete, listen, you, you go for it, bro. I'm not going to lie. I watched the whole game, Lawless, and there. Uh... You know, you bang on about Sheffield United and how bad they are. That's probably up there with one of the worst performances I've ever seen from a Premier League team. I'm not even gonna lie. It was Reach an absolute it. it was an absolute disgrace, bro. It was an absolute disgrace. You got some good players in that team, but the way you big them up, they did not perform. And there's no excuses. There's no excuses. It's it, the, the the table doesn't lie. You look at the injury table. You you've you, you've said about injuries and players missing. You've had the least players injured and the least mi um, days of any player being out of any team in the Premier League. There is no excuse, absolute no excuse. And to think that we went on a seven game unbeaten uh, or beaten run where we were we lost what seven out of eight over the course of December into January. And yet we're still on the same points as you. That for me tells me everything I need to know about West Ham United. It really, really does. And uh, look, you've had a skeleton it. squad after season as well, haven't you, Pete? We still have. We still got. We still got big players to come back. And that's uh, that's, that's crazy. You know we what? Called, we called Pete. We called this though, brother, didn't we? We called we this when he was coming for our clubs. And I think Lawless, this is the biggest example of that kid at school that is mean to everyone and spreads gossip and riles them up around each other. And then one day, one day it happens, and they all come back. And that is you today, my friend. You are that kid in the playground that nobody wants to play ball with, nobody wants to swap skittles with, no one wants to give you a fucking Pokemon card. They all want to watch you burn, mate. And that is where we are today. And it's me, been it's been beautiful. For me, for me, you know, you said about West Ham and Newcastle, and you, you've had a lot to say about Newcastle this season. Uh, you've enjoyed you've enjoyed our, our, our difficult moments, but we're smelling blood. Newcastle United is smelling blood now. And, big up, uh, Pete. Big up, um, Pete. Seriously, when when we get our players back and we we you know, we're missing our top top scorer, we're missing a couple of other important players. March thirtieth, man, St James's Park. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Oh man, get me there. man, get me there. man. Me and the loaded boys are there. Lawless, I want you there because I need you to experience this. I need you to experience this. March the thirtieth. Easter Sunday, or before Easter Sunday. Um, but the question I've got before I hand over to... Uh, we're all friends in this in this panel. We're all friends. Correct, uh, Pete. Correct. To my very good friends, Dan United and Maz, to continue. And um, the question I've got for you, Dan Lawless, are you still challengers for the Premier League title? <laughs> I never said we were. Never said we were. Hold it back, Sam. Hold it back. There's a few questions that have been yeah. asked, but I, I know that Maz has definitely got one because the last time yeah. Maz was on, if I recall, um, Lawless said Brighton have been shit. They're not serious. And Maz questioned that West Ham uh, might not be a serious club either and that they got lucky last season. And Lawless wasn't happy, man. So, Maz, mm. I'll let you have the mic, bro. Sure. Do you, know, do you know what it is? Yeah, I think every, he's been cooked so much. He's gone red. He's actually gone red. That's how much people are cooking him. So I'm not, I'm not going to do too much damage. But do you know what? I really want to. Do you know what? I would you love to see. I would have been in that stadium just seeing his face when that rice goal went in. Just to see Lawless's face drop when that goal went in. Because I know how much it hurts you, Lawless. That Declan Rice has gone to a better club, uh, to a better. Better place, really, isn't it? So um, he's enjoying himself uh, over at the Emirates. And I know, I know when that goal went in, your heart must have broken into pieces and it would have been a joy to behold. But all I will say is, Lawless, listen, West Ham, you always give it a big one about how good they are and how 
how much you should be doing better than you are and all that kind of stuff. And look, it was a nice humbler. I think everyone on this panel enjoyed it massively uh, to see you and West Ham get absolutely hammered by Arsenal. Um, but listen, you might do well, um, you know, sometime in the near future. But right now, you've got to hold the L and just, um, yeah, get the cooking that you're you are receiving by everyone. And um, yeah, I just want a reenactment of you watching that Declan Rice goal go in. Can, can you just give us a little, what, how do you react? That's all I want to know. I want to, I want to see it. And that right. guy went in. Oh, well, I don't care. Don't bother me. That's, oh, <laughs> that's the biggest load of bullshit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. I, I bet it was exactly like that. But um, no, nah, anyway, that's me. I, I won't cook you too much because I know everyone's been, been grilling you. I'm, I'm not that kind of guy, you know. I'll let, I'll let Dan do that. Let, let me, let me, uh, we should, we, you've got to have been embarrassed. What, 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 you, what are you ready for? Of course me? he hasn't. What? Errol, he never is. Of course he is. No, 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 from your team, no, from your team, not like again, what we say is, is by the by. But your team yesterday, they had to leave you feeling embarrassed when you walk out of that day because, like, the, the life of a of a, a streamer, podcaster, football fan, commentator can be brutal at times. So just as a normal fan, you're disappointed when your team absolutely balls up and f- like drops a clanger like that when there's no fight and there's no spirit. But to know that you've then got to stay posted online for the next couple of days, get it from all angles, does that not add to the level of embarrassment you feel about your team? Because you are now associated with that dross. Do you feel me? Listen, Lawless, before you come in, First of all, big up for coming on. Yeah. Do appreciate that. You never hide. It's a fair play to you. It's only fair to let you have the mic. Errol's got a couple of questions for you there, obviously, that latest one and about Moyes. Pete is looking forward to seeing you, wants you to know if you're still contenders. And Dan United is being polite and putting his hand up. <laughs> uh, just a quick one. Uh, interesting fact. Yesterday, Arsenal last scored six away from home. 10 years ago, in 2009, I think it was. Do you know who the manager was they scored six against? David Moyes. David Moyes. David yeah. Moyes. There I you go, it. mate. That's your I manager. That's your man. manager. Lawless, I mean, there's a lot for you to answer there, my bro. Tobes has come for you. Maz has put some a really good question as to how you felt with a rice goal went in. Uh, Dan, Pete and Errol just want to know where you're at in terms of Moyes. And uh, I think everybody in the chat would like to hear from you, my bro. Go for it, man. All right. Listen, before I get out there, I just want some reminders. Uh, Brighton held six against Villa. Liverpool have held seven against Villa. Man United have held seven against Liverpool. Arsenal have held eight against Man United. Newcastle have held eight against West Ham. And Tottenham get battered everywhere they go. So let's just have some reminders before we sit here and act like... You know, we even had the biggest defeat in history. It's the biggest defeat for us in 61 years. Okay, so let's just put that into perspective before I answer these questions, right? Maz, it's fresh in your mind. Listen, it weren't that long ago you held six, mate. So let's not forget that. Go on, take that Against out, Villa take as that well. Sometimes. Yeah, we were poor on the day, bro. What do you, what do you want to say? <laughs> yeah, and that's what it is. Look, we were poor on the day. We weren't poor. Poor is not even the word, right? We were awful, right? Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna dissect my team. I just had to remind people of something. I also have to remind people that it's two one West Ham this season against Arsenal. That's all I'll say, right? You you don't get any extra points. What's the aggregate score? What's that? What's the aggregate score? We don't do aggregate because it nah. it doesn't the, the, the scores the are. Lawless, you don't do aggregate. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's part of the competitions it don't work in aggregate i'm uh, just saying we've beaten you twice this season and you've beaten us once well done does that okay. keep Moyes in the job for the season then lawless i said this uh, until until we you get something in your eye you got something in your eye bro <laughs> yeah, yeah listen i've got it and you know what you know what i want to remind you all this as well season's not finished you're all eulogizing west ham united you're acting as if the season's done. It's just correct. To go. 
We reminded yeah. you about this when you were in sixth and you were saying that we were all ruined. We reminded you of this and you didn't listen. So yes, you're right. The season hasn't fit sorry, season hasn't finished yet. My God. I can see this getting worse for you, Lawless. Because like your mate said in your video, um, who when you interviewed um who was it? Was it uh, Lee? Uh, judges. This is going to get worse. You're not going to get. You're not going to get Europa League final, mate. Not a chance. Do you honestly think the team that you've got now, the tactics you're playing, like you've said yourself, there are players running out of gas that you're going to go on a run and get Europa League final? Listen, all I'll say is this, right? Yeah, it is looking bleak. Our defense has been shit all season. I do think we have one of the best front threes in the league when Paqueta comes back. Um, that is a big miss, but I need these players to show me something. I was disgusted, absolutely disgusted by what I saw. There was, and it's all, all of the cliches you can say, no fight, no desire, no heart, nothing, no self-respect, no pride. That's what I can say about them players. And Toes are sitting there going, oh, don't just talk on more. Let's talk on them players on the show. Don't just talk. I'm talking on the players, right? Because at the end of the day, Whatever Moyes, whatever tactics Moyes gives you, when it gets to that point where it starts to go free and, and you're exceeding that much, you then have to say, just put any nonsense he's trying to tell you out the window and you start kicking players. The only player that I saw do that was Calvin Phillips, who I'm not hearing anything about right now. Early doors, yeah? It's early doors on Calvin Phillips, but at least he come on and tried to take one of their players out. Like, how can their players be walking off that pitch with no bruises? Do you know what I mean? You it, really are an East Ender, aren't you? You really are an what? East Ender. Nothing about That's... playing good football. Nothing about, oh, let's put our foot on the ball. Let's keep the ball. Let's try and get a couple of goals back. Why aren't players coming off with bruises on their legs and broken ankles? Yeah. Like, what the hell? You've just the seen the game is... And all you're talking yeah. about is, is other players crashing into Arsenal players' legs. Your mentality is all over the gap. It's, it's stinky. Right. It's but, right. Because you, the game's you, gone by then. What I'm saying is... You mentioned it being self- one, one result, though. But this has been... I, two months into the year, we'll be in March just now. You've not got a win on the board, bro. This is what I'm saying. So it's, it's not just one result in isolation. If you wanted to isolate the result, yeah, like you said, you can remind us all of isolated results where we've all held a whooping. But our whooping hasn't come on the back of two to nearly three months worth of no wins. That is what you've got to dissect. That is what you've got to forensically look at now and say, can we turn this around quick enough to salvage our season? Like that. Pete, Pete, sorry, before you, Pete, before you, I'm going to go watch this as a fan now, guys, because I'm I'm knackered. But guys, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this mini roast. I look forward to watching this as a fan now and uh, chiming in uh, in the comments. Lawless, thanks for everything, bro. It's been worth the wait. See you later, guys. But but, this is what I'm kind of adding on to what Errol's saying here, because like, and to be fair, Toby said the same. He's like, for me, I'm asking massive questions of my manager and my players at like 3 0, going, why are you still going all out attack and leaving gaping holes in the back for Arsenal to exploit? Why are you not making it tight, making it difficult for Arsenal to get back in, get into half time and then regrouping? They opened up, they could have had six before half time. Let's be honest. Uh, and that was the embarrassing thing. And like, normally, Normally, you would expect any decent team to be able to do that, and they just didn't do it. Like, mm. to be fair, Potts, you're absolutely right. That could have been eight or nine with Easy. the chances, and you missed good right. chances. But it wasn't. But, but it wasn't. Hard-hearted. But it wasn't. What, why? why it, you, know, you won't see us conceding eight. Who concedes eight in the Premier League? Yeah, That's yeah, embarrassing. But, I would never yeah, but we have, okay, but, but Lawless, the, the point still remains. <laughs> the point still it. remains, Lawless. Like, his, his performance you're wasn't, not asking wasn't, questions. wasn't embarrassing. Are you not asking questions, Lawless, of, of your manager, of your players, the fact that they just allowed that to continue to happen over and over again? These are meant to be good quality players. You spent a hell of a lot of money in the summer. Yeah, you lost a really good player. We spent a hell of a lot of money on, on good good players, like good pedigree of players. And they just didn't turn up. 
Do you know, do you know what, Pete, as well? Do you remember Tobes on Matisse channel last season where he was bigging up Aguero, telling me that, oh, I know Saliba's good, but this guy from the league, Un, is absolutely oh, out go. of this world, apparently. Here and all this loving for Zuma, who he tried to put in ahead of, was it Romero or Van der Ven and Saliba and Gabriel we were talking about combined? Oh, where were they mm-hmm. yesterday? Where were they yesterday? They got absolutely cooked, the pair of them. They were embarrassing. And Zuma, by the way, was a shambles. And do you know what's even funnier, right? What's even funnier is that when we actually, so I don't know who it was, which of you was, put in the group chat the picture of them leaving. And then he tried to say it's because they were going to go and get a burger on the Congress. Now, do you know what that I, is? I, I see, I've seen people saying it's a smoking area. They're all like, no, no, we went to the smoking area. I was like, well, what they are you stayed out there. They didn't the come back. No, like there was the about bridge, like 40 fucking blokes on the bridge, but the big crowd that everyone points at was in the smoking area with the burger vans and the part of the bars. That big congested group of fans were not leaving. And they were going The ones on the bridge were, but so, so, the big crowd was What were all the empty seats then in the stadium? Yeah, I was just about to ask that. The people was going for a, people was, was, was up for a beer. My cousin did it. He was like, fuck this, I'm going for a few. I know loads of fans was like, no, I'm going out for a few beers. Then they came back. Awful. 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 Yeah. That's Either side, side of that, no, side of that there were like, <laughs> I think there were two bridges where there were, there were a significant amount of fans leaving on those two bridges. Forget the concourse for a second. There was a lot of fans leaving at that point. And obviously it's a still, but when Sky showed it, there were still fans streaming out of both ends uh, of, of those bridges. They, they were getting out of there. And yeah. you, yeah, a few might have Listen, gone back. I, I don't leave early. Blame you them them them. Them. No, 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 I'm not talking about you. Talk about the fans. Talk about the fans because look, mm. at the end of the day, when we <laughs> when the mean. second half resumed, white seats <laughs> everywhere. Okay, white so seat what point everywhere. are you trying to make here, Pete? What's what's your what's your question and what's your point? <laughs> Why are you not back in the team? Why West Ham? Oh, fuck off! Fuck off, Pete! Fuck off! You're four 0 down at half time. Back in the team, back hey, in these hey, bricks. No, hey, hey, Potts right next to me can a, can oh, testify to this. Pricks. Potts can testify to this. St James's yeah. Park, St James's Park, I believe, 2012, 2011, 2011. It was right, even even later back. Four 0 down at half time to Arsenal. Not one fan left the stadium. Still in there supporting. We end up equalising. Um, in the last minute, God bless his soul. Um, check to Ote with an absolute rasper for all. No the fans fan weren't even turning up at the stadium during the you can say what you want about the West Ham fans. Honest, I was going up you, you can say what you want about the West Ham fans, but there are other fans. I'm using court. my example. There are other fans in here that have had a similar experience, and their bullshit. fans are Last season, I'm calling last you season, bullshit. Brighton I'm calling at home you bullshit. at the Emirates. That's bullshit. It is bullshit. Because last <laughs> season, Brighton at home at the Emirates, yeah, they was all leaving. You've yeah? got no siege Newcastle. mentality, though. Wait. You've got no siege mentality, though, Lawless. Like, he makes a good point, lad. Like, you can't even dispute no, that. No, I, I, I said, I've just sat there. No, no, I've just, no, but I've, no, but I've just sat there and said, can you even really blame the fans? But when Pete puts it like that, you've got no siege mentality. The chips are down, lad. When the chips are down, that's when you need your players to stand up and be counted. Fuck Moyes and his tactics. Let's shut up shop and let's not embarrass ourselves and embarrass the badge. Like, there's, 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 levels, there's levels to it, Lawless. And this is what I'm trying to say to you. If this was just in isolation, we could just banter and we could laugh and we could brush it aside. There's, uh, we'll know you'll bounce back next week because you've been in a good run of form. But that is a demoralising defeat to a side that is on the ascendancy at the moment, that has got the, you know, the, the wind in the sails, they're flying high. So the fact that you've actually just been absolutely dissected and taken apart by them, you've got to look at yourselves now going forward. And like I said to you just then, how can you turn it round quick enough to salvage the season? Because it really is hanging by a thread. And you might still stay deluded and be like, oh, we'll be fine. We, you know, we'll be fine to finish in the top seven and top eight. But the reality is, Newcastle will be breathing down your necks just now. Man, you'll be breathing down your necks just now. Brighton going to be breathing down your necks just now. Spurs ain't going anywhere. Arsenal aren't going anywhere. Liverpool aren't going anywhere. Neither is City. So before you know it, when Dan Potts is saying at the beginning of the season, I, I, I struggle to see how you finish higher than 10th. It's, no, but you roll your eyes, bro. But like, can you not? Can you not understand the logic of where everyone here on this panel over the last six months has all come at when it comes to? The, the perspective of looking at, you know, from the outside looking in at West Ham. Can you not see it now? 
All right, everyone shut up now because I've just listened to you all for 35 minutes. I've listened to you all for 35 fucking minutes, yeah? Do you want to hear what I have to say about the fucking Everyone game? Go on mute. Everyone or go on mute. Here's the yeah. meltdown. Here's the meltdown. Mute Let's yourselves, go. you clowns. Mute Front yourselves. Front and center. You clowns. I'm not having anyone ever blaming Put my Put them on the big screen, Potts. Put them on the big screen. Put them on the big Don't ever center. criticize Front my center. fan base for yesterday. The fans traveled out. I, I knew fans that traveled from Belgium, from America, from Ireland, yeah? From all over the globe, people come and pay their money to see that. And people want to say what they can do. People want to say that, oh, you're not allowed to leave early. How dare you? No, how dare them players? How dare them players cross that line and put in a performance like that? Show such apathy on the pitch in a London derby. How dare they? The fans should never come into question. Ever. You know what I mean? And for Potts as well, sitting there, giving it all the big in, he was celebrating like they won the league. That's what's funny. Potts wants to talk about what's funny. It's celebrating like you won the league against little old West Ham. This is what's funny, isn't it? We're little old West Ham. No one cares about West Ham. Everyone's having the time of their lives, yeah? We can sit here and say, yeah, the players were shit on the day. The manager got it completely wrong and he's been getting it wrong for the past few weeks. Should never have sold Ben Rump. Should never have sold four nows. He's weakened us completely. And these players, like I said, I don't care who they are. They're very expensive, very highly talented players. But to have such apathy when you're in European spots and you're still in Europe, you've got everything to fight for. And there's this game that's a London derby that should have edge. Where, where, is, where is the fight? Because you can be the most talented player in the world or you could be the shittest player in the world. I don't care. The very, the very bare minimum is that you give it everything that you've got, especially in these games when you know what it means to the fans. And yeah, there's very, there's very much cause for concern. But guess what? About what we've seen in this season, teams have highs and lows. We're in an extended low right now, but we've done enough in the highs to keep ourselves up here. So the sooner we can turn it around. And we don't fall too far behind. We can capitalize on when the other teams have lows, right? So don't write us off yet. I'm disgraced. I'm disgusted by what I have seen yesterday. 100%. And I'm disappointed with the past six weeks. It's not been good enough. But that does not mean we should be writing off West Ham United. Yeah? Never write off West Ham United. Because we have, we have done some special things in the past few seasons. And we can do some special things again. Like I said, Paqueta coming back is going to give us a massive boost. Antonio comes back, gives us another massive boost. I just have to question why these players felt it was okay to put in that kind of performance. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. And I think you should all take a look at yourselves because all of your teams have suffered much worse defeats than that. Much worse defeats. Yeah, can I just and like you? I said... Tobes, you, Pete, when was you calling out Tobes when he left early? And it was like it was like 2 1 or some shit like that when he left early. I was there till the end. It wasn't 2 1. I it was wasn't 2 1. It what was it then? What was it? What was it? What was it? And, stop, was it, compa and stop, compa stop comparing you playing Arsenal to Spurs versus Arsenal. Spurs versus Arsenal is a bigger game. It means more. It means more than West Ham playing Arsenal. Well, I, I've, what, never seen, what, I've never seen. I've never seen Potts celebrate Potts like that against Tottenham. Yeah? Potts, yeah. Potts would, all right, yeah, I let you speak. slides. I let you speak. Yeah, so so Knee if you slides. want to waffle, waffle, but at least get your facts right. Yeah. So that one that was a North London derby against Arsenal, bitter rivals. Two were playing up against a young team in Arsenal. Three were playing away from home at the Emirates. Four Spurs had never ever. Been 3 0 down in a North London derby within the first 34 minutes. I've seen this team against Henri, Vieira, Gilberto Silva, Perez. Spurs have never been 3 0 down in a Premier League match against Arsenal at their ground in the space of 34 minutes, the opening 34 minutes. So I was well within my rights to get the hell out of there. This isn't what I stand for. I didn't like the manager and I didn't like the image of the team. So I left at half time. What's no, the problem? Okay, but, but so then why does Pete... Why does Pete and if you wanted to leave yesterday... I called out Lee Gunner. Is it... Or Gunner Lee. Gunner Lee for leaving yeah. earlier uh, for an Arsenal All game. Right, right, now told. call out Tobes. He self-admitted that he left early. Tell him he's a disgrace. But when was this? I don't remember when it was. 
I don't know. I don't really care. I, to be honest, I don't really care about being called a disgrace. I've been called worse, so it's fine. It's whatever, bro. Don't care. I, I, tra- I travel. I travel up and down the country, all over the world, to support Spurs. So if for one out of hundreds of games, I feel so aggrieved by the team's performance that I want to leave early. I'm going to leave early. Listen, What's I agree with, and the one thing is, I do. I don't leave early, right? Myself, right? I don't leave early. Matisse was messaging me, going, "Bro, just leave, just leave." <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't leave early, but sometimes it. I believe it's a way to show the players, vote with your feet. This is disgraceful. Turn your back on them, like they turn their backs on you when they cross the line and put in that performance, right? And I'm not hearing people write off, "Oh, Aguerd is shit," and you said this about Aguerd. He's he would be he'd thrive in a possession based team. I've said it, I don't care what our fans say. He is a ball playing center back, right? He He's not suited to this style of play where backs to the wall, he's not that type of guy. Zuma is an excellent defender, his body is breaking down far too young. It's sad and it's a shame, but at the same time, you're the captain. Where is the leadership? Where is the and and I, I guess he felt that he couldn't be shouting at anyone because he was one of the biggest offenders. But we need you need someone on that pitch to take the players by the scruff of the leg, screaming at people, do something. We didn't see any of that. It was so timid because it was like once that second, once that penalty went in, it was it was it was done. It was defeated. Hey, and are you are you worried about? Sorry to 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 put in there, and I'm kind of going. Off of one because you talk about um, Zuma and his situation, but uh, you're saying you needed someone to scream and to to get around the pitch. You talked even about kicking somebody um, just just to just to kind of get the fans up and get things going. Are you not worried that Cameron Phillips was meant to be that guy, and he looks so far from being that guy? And you guys spent nearly eight million on a loan. For the fact to bring him in, are you not, are you not concerned that what you thought you were going to get, you're not getting right now? Listen, we always knew there was a chance that Calvin Phillips would be a slow burn, right? He ain't, he's barely played. It's going to take him time to get up to speed, and he's come at one of the worst possible times. I have to say, he was the only player that did put in that sort of tackle. That he was right in front of me, and I was there. I was like, "Yes!" Like it was six nil down, but I was like, "Fucking come on, fucking do these clowns! Like don't just let them sit there and come into your house and put these goals past you and leave unscathed." Yeah, they did. Let them they did. know they've been in a war. They did put the goals past you, and they did leave unscathed. They, they did. That's the problem. But but at least Calvin Phillips was no, showing no, no. the other the players. Problem, the problem is you didn't it. turn up. The problem is you didn't turn up with any ambition to play football and you defended pathetically bad. It's not that you weren't kicking lumps out of people. If you had done the first two points, you wouldn't have to be kicking lumps out of people. You would be competitive. But, but let's be real. No, let's That's be honest. Because what you're, we're doing is... I, I can understand you talking about pride and kick rollers. Sorry, right. I can understand you talking about pride and personal pride, etc., etc. I remember on your fan cam with um with Nicky and um, I can't remember his name, you're talking about right. sometimes right. as a football player like irrespective of what the manager's instructed, when shit is going south, you as a player need to take some responsibility and and and, and get it out of the mud. And I and, and I agree with that. I fully agree with that. But this whole rhetoric of, oh, Calvin Phillips came on and he's kicking lumps out of players. No, Calvin Phillips is meant to come on and spray the ball around, put his foot on the ball, get West Ham further up the pitch, dictate the tempo of the game, find your attacker's runs and, and so on and so forth. Don't tell me about, oh, Calvin Phillips coming on and booting people's shins and stuff. That's dead, bro. That's dead. That, this is black. That's exactly it's, it's what I'm saying. Nil. No, because at the same time, things like that lift the crowd. You want to get the crowd that's left behind you. Give us something. Yeah, of course, spraying the ball around is all great if you've got the you fucking players that are moving and making the runs. Because I don't know if you noticed, Tobes. I don't know if you watched the game, but this is what happens, right? When we have the it. ball and we're not counter-attacking, is we stand there and we hold on to the ball and we try and find someone to pass to because everyone else is static. No one's trying to move into space. It's constant sideways, backways passing because we don't give options. So, yeah, you can do that and you can you can, you can make all the passes he wants. We kept seeing um, Zuma lump balls long and over the top to no one, to absolutely no one. So. 
at 6-0 down, you're saying, oh, yeah, come and dictate the game. And What are we talking about? The players that he come on the pitch with were defeated and demoralised. And we were expecting Calvin Phillips to come on and have this super performance and pick everyone up. That's ridiculous. It's, 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 you're worried. You're worried now. Expecting it. It's, it's, not expecting it. it's not, Nobody it's expecting about it. him coming on and being this super player. But... I'm not being funny. You pay, uh, and someone said it was four million loan. Like it, it wasn't. Like it's already been talked about. It's like between seven and eight million loan fee that you're paying for him because he's on crazy wages at Man City. Like it, you, you've brought this player in. What is he? 26, 27 years old. England international played at Man City, although albeit not a lot. But you brought him in and spent a lot of money on him to come in and, and try and make a difference to this team. And it's not like he's come in and this is his first run out. He's had a number of minutes. He's had weeks of training with you guys. He should be up and running by now. No, like, he's no, had enough no, 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 to play. Like, no, to come on yeah. and make a difference. For me, I think I think you're I think for me, you're playing him down a little bit. But look, he's not the yeah, only one. I'm just using, I was just using him as an example. That's no, no, I, I was just gonna say Phil Phillips, he's, he's been quite vocal about basically he's his confidence is shot to bits because I think Pep Guardiola called him fat when he went um went off to England, came back overweight. I think I think mentally he's not yet there. I think it's a bit harsh to say he's shit now, but he's still got time to get Nobody better. Saying but, he's shit. Uh, Nobody's no, saying no, but, shit. Well, well saying a, a lot I've seen I've seen a lot of fans I, I saying he's better. saying he's dead. But I, I can I get it though. Like if you're not mentally if you've not been playing for a long time, your manager's you know telling you you're not good enough. You're probably going to come with a bit of confidence issues. So I think I think Calvin Phillips will become better, but he's been poor. Even that was it his debut when he gave the ball away. That I mean, it, it wasn't good. No, that was I Zuma, think... man. That was the pass. That was the pass. Uh, another was Zuma, the pass. another Zuma error. Another Zuma error. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, I see what you're saying now. What well, you're, you're worried? You're worried now, aren't you, Lord? You're worried now, aren't you? You are worried now. You're worried that it's going to be downhill from here. You've gone on a speech about never write us off, never write us off. But you're worried, man. It's been poor. You've got absolutely battered by us. You haven't beaten Sheffield United. You haven't beaten Bournemouth. You've lost the Old Trafford by three. Mate, it's it's not looking good. And I don't know if Paquette is going to be enough to save you. But let's be real. You are going to need to pick it up, man, because this is right. becoming embarrassing. And just before, obviously, we, we obviously move on to some serious teams. West Ham, next four games, yeah? Nottingham Forest, Brentford, Everton, and Burnley. You know, I said to you the other day, you was talking about how well you had done against the, the, the top teams. And I said to you, when you look at the teams that you're coming up against now, and they should be the teams that you put to the sword, and you was confident, and you stuck your chest out, there's four games there. How many points do you have to get as a bare minimum? Well, we have to start with an absolute definitive win against Forest. We have to start with the best performance of the season. We have to not just crawl over the line against Forest. We have to batter them. We need a response in that game, right? So when you say how many points from them four games, we need to be getting minimum seven to nine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I can maybe take one loss out of that. If you're serious, yeah, then we need a, a response. Those players need to go out. If yeah, your serious. Is that Look. Forest home or away? Away. Away, yeah. If you're serious, seven points, yeah? Minimum, minimum. We're going to the next four games, we're going to find out definitively if West Ham is serious or not. Yeah, but that's why I, I, I don't care. Like, <laughs> Forest, I think that's going to be a tough game, tough place to go. Um, they gave a good account of themselves on the weekend. Probably should have come out with more than they got. Deserved more. Um, <sighs> Jammy bastards denied a penalty. I've just looked at your um, next seven games. After you best get that, those, you best don't get those that, seven points do because if you don't, you're going to come on here three weeks on the trot to Villa, Newcastle, and Spurs. Do you know you what? Best, and listen, you best, you better hope that Spurs points. beat us. You need you need to win that game, Tobes. You that is a must win. If after this tonight and all the smoke that you've given me, right, and all this about our oh, jammy win and we're gonna do yours, I'm just saying if you don't win that game at our ground, mate, I want to see you again. Yeah, you yeah. all see me. You all see me. But I've already said we're gonna get the get back. We're gonna get the get back. Yeah. Yeah. You better hope you do. But for us, well, I'll get hope. back to our next week. Also, I'll also, just really quickly, really quickly, Lawless, did you say? 
Uh, Michel Antonio, you're, you're buzzing that he's coming back, do you say? He's done yeah, fuck the all reason why. Since he opened his mouth about us, he's done fuck all all season. Yeah, he's li up. literally. What is going on? Is that how desperate things are getting? That you're 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 clinging on to Michel Antonio coming back? No, because because if, I don't know if you've noticed, <laughs> but our, our squad depth has been obliterated, and he is someone who's a winger. He's an actual winger that can play left wing or right wing. So that cool. gives us an extra option. It also gives us He's fucking cooked, bro. He's cooked he's food. He's been playing for you, though, isn't you know, he? I think as a squad player, I'm not saying I'm not saying that he's as pivotal as a Paqueta and he's starting each week, but it gives us a, an option, and it's a different option. That's a very physical player that can hold up the ball, right? And if you're playing these long balls like Zuma was playing, if he was there, it would have been different. Not saying we would have won, but they they something might have come off. And let's not forget, by the way, that's what I wanted to remind you. Tobes is acting like from minute one, you know, we were just shit and we were all over the place. Didn't, we say, were that. Ball Didn't say that. We were getting the ball in. It was the, the goal, right? And let's not forget, typical Arsenal set piece FC. Arsenal special, right? That that undoes all of our game plan because they get their little corner because they're You've such a set nerve. team. You have got some fucking nerve talking about, oh, other teams scoring set pieces and undoing game plans. That was you. You're yeah, only yeah, jealous because yeah. West Ham used to be yeah, set yeah. That, team. that was you a year and a half ago, a year and a half ago, two years ago. That was you. You like, would play shit for 80% of the game, score a set piece, defend your goal, defend your box, 1-0 win. Yeah, West Ham won. And you've got the cheat to say, oh, other teams scoring set pieces is undoing your game. Right. No, you defend, right. you defend right. set pieces better. Right. You've, got, right. you've got some cheat. Just because your shit yeah. players aren't scoring from set pieces anymore, the teams are defending better. You want to I'm just saying, without set pieces, no back yeah, no from set tech anymore, no tappings at the near post. Yeah, piece of shit. Saka man. was Saka was fucking <laughs> struggling, knocking balls into row Z before that set piece. Right, it, it, the she shooting was a diabolical at that point. Once they get that set piece, the game then opens up for Arsenal. I said it on Judges Channel on the preview is that the low block is their kryptonite. Guess what? The counteraction, the kryptonite to that kryptonite of the low block is the set piece, the corner. Yeah, but do you not think, the that's the reason we won the game. Do you not think that the way your defence just opened their legs and parted the Red Sea um, in the last five minutes of that first half was, was shambolic? Like, even the second goal as well, Saka is in acres of space, literally acres of space. I'm like, West Ham... Why is your line so high? You are low block FC. Your line is so high. Saka's running for a goal. Saka's movement, you could not deal with Saka's movement all game. And even the fifth goal, I remember the fifth goal was pathetic. Odegaard's literally having a jolly up. He plays a foot on a, a pass and he's outside boot. Takes out two free players. No pressure on the ball. Aguerd, statue Aguerd, just stands there flat-footed. Saka skips past him and buries, buries flipping um, Ariola. It's pathetic defending. It's pathetic defending, bro, all round. And but, you, yeah. after 1-6-0, you're lucky that it wasn't more, you know. I'm not going to lie to you because you literally said it yourself. Saka had an off day shooting-wise and he scored two goals. So imagine if he tucked away that uh, header. One of them was a penalty, though. But he scored. He scored, he scored. Look, 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 that Potts was so happy. Oh, we finally scored a penalty. Oh, wow. Oh, brilliant. Like, man, he scored yeah, enough I mean, of them, man. He scored enough of them. You can't sit there and even even try to disrespect Saka after what he went through the Euros. Try to then become our penalty taker. What Missed one at the last crowd season? last season. What, happened? what did he exactly. do last season? Penalty? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, which is, why, which is why it was even more balls to step up and do it again and put that right which is exactly what he did. So Euros, he misses. Then he becomes our penalty taker, bangs him in. Then he misses one, yeah, at your ground. What does he do? I love it. It's mine. Bang. Puts it in. Ariola, bargain of the season. Nowhere to be seen. Aguerd, get skipped past. Zuma, better than Romero. Skip past. Trossard, by the way. Wow. I mean, Zuma, goodbye. Bang. Top bins. It was a shambles. I'm not, and this I'm is not why having I you back to never call on any of your players, Potts, because this isn't about Arsenal good. It's about West Ham bad. Like, it's oh, here we go. Ever. No, it is. It is. Uh, it oh, is. Arsenal were crap. So if Wrexham turned up, no, it would have been 8-0 as well, 6-0 as well. My word, man. You at are that shameful. performance, yeah, at that you point, the way we man. crumbled, anyone would have put them six goals by. Maybe, maybe not Sheffield United, but Liverpool would have done it. 